Mimi's special baked beans are extraordinary. A great side dish that's good enough to be a main course. Why are they so good? Well, they have a secret ingredient, of course, and here's how you make them. A Dutch oven's absolutely perfect because we can go from the burner to the smoker, grill, or the oven. We want to start by browning one pound of breakfast sausage of your choice, and when the sausage starts getting some good color, it's time to add in one diced onion, one green bell pepper, cut up about four slices of bacon into small pieces and throw that in there too. Cook over medium to high heat until the onions, bacon, sausage, and bell peppers are all cooked down a bit. Now add in at least 48 ounces of Bush's Original Baked Beans. It's time for the secret ingredient, one can of Lucky Leaf Cherry Pie Filling. Now the cherry pie filling is what brings it all together for a great flavor profile and I promise it won't taste like cherry pie. And heck, you don't even have to like cherries to love these beans. One cup of barbecue sauce, two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue rub, and I'm using my Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Rub. Here's the link to that recipe right up here. One cup of turbinado sugar, or you can substitute in brown sugar. One eighth cup of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon spicy brown mustard, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon cumin, one half teaspoon cayenne pepper. Now gently give it a stir to get them all mixed up. Add in some bacon from eight slices of bacon that you've cut into small pieces and cover the top of the beans. Now we can go into our oven smoker or grill and I like to cook for three and a half hours at 275 degrees. This gives it time to cook the bacon and get all those flavors going mixed together. And since we didn't drain any of the juices, you don't have to worry about anything drying out. This is a great recipe. Enjoy. They are outstanding. You'll find the complete recipe in the description area below the video at YouTube. These baked beans will go great with the grill hamburger, and I just happen to have a great video that shows you how to smash them on the grill. Be sure and watch this one next. <laughs>